What's up guys, CJ here for Kung Fu Night. We're here for more It's Always Sunny. We're on season 13, episode 10. Leave your comments down below, links in the description for Patreon tears. I'm not gonna waste too much time. I'm gonna get right into it. Oh, that's it, I'm coming in. Peaches? Why didn't you open the door? It wasn't locked. Come on, we gotta get going. They put me in charge. It's a gay pride parade or something. We're making a float for the parade to rope in the gays. Oh, but we only got 24 hours. Oh, well, you're going to be our prize gay. You're going to dance on top. They told me to get you. I told them I don't get the whole gay thing. Let's roll. This man is fucking shutting the newspaper up his nose. I don't know where I fit in as a gay man, and it's starting to get to me. Oh, Christ. They give me one job, and I got to deal with your feelings? I'm not feeling very proud. Oh, all right. Look. What's up with these peaches, though? I never really got you. Now that you're gay, I get you even less. But let's try and work together, okay? Help me help you, all right? All right, I guess, sure. Hope is not only f uh, Frank and Mac in this episode. I find, it looks like Mac is finally going to address his sexuality. I mean, he ha I mean, he has, but he hasn't, you know? God, it's, it's so... I'll be honest, it's so hard to remember where I'm at in this show in season 13 <laughs> because I'm watching other people's reactions to it and re-watching the show. So, I mean, I, let's see, it's only the latest of what I remember, of what I've seen though, right? Mac has never had a relationship with anyone in this show, other than Dennis. I'm gonna take you to a club <clears throat> where you can meet a few guys, maybe snap you out of that funk you're in. All right, I just don't know if I'm ready for a relationship, you know? You're just scared as all. Well. And by the way, when we're in there, you gotta watch my back. If one of these queens comes at me, I'm gonna go berserk. Let's try to blend in. Okay. Go for it, go for it. Damn. Let's hit the buffet, we'll hang back, we'll scope out the scene. <laughs> Oh, look. Hit the buffet platter right next to much everything. I don't feel comfortable in here, Frank. I know. That's why you gotta jump in head first. Go find some nice guy, smack you around a little bit. It's just a little too much for me, too. Oh, and this cut. I gotta think about race stuff. Oh, oh, damn, God. dude. Oh. This is why you don't oh, do oh, any God. food at orgies. <laughs> but just. Uh, Sex parties and food just don't seem to mix. Ooh, 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 that's spicy. Ooh, there must be some hot sauce on them wings. How may we help you? <laughs> Mac, uh, unzip this thing so we can find out what it wants. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Why? Because I'm straight? No, because you put your nose rags in the chicken. Hey, how much I gotta pay you to let my boy Mac here take you for a spin? I'm not a prostitute. You do this for fun? Yes. You gotta find that pride. Okay, this place is a little too rough. I, I admit it. Fine. We're gonna go someplace softer. So, you see anything you like? Not really. These are drag queens, Frank. Come on, Mac. Help me out. I'm sticking my neck out for you, and you're giving me nothing. When you came out to your father, would, did you come out as a top or a bottom? A boy or a girl? Oh, I haven't come out to him yet. Well, maybe that's it. Look, I don't know what to tell you, man. You just don't, you don't know what's going on inside of me. I, I just want to show him so that he can understand. All right, well, explain it to me. There's like this storm inside of me, and, and it's been raging my whole life. And 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 I'm down on my knees, and and, and I'm and then God comes down to me, and it's a very hot chick, and she pulls me up, <laughs> okay. and we start dancing. Wait, 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 okay. wait, dude. You're gay, and you're dancing with a hot chick. Who's He's fucking hot. God, or he wants yeah, to fuck God? You up. Oh, you didn't get it. <laughs> never... Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh, shit! Ah, oh, that burns. Oh, oh shit, here he comes. I'm but freaking out. Don't don't dance around it. Hey, he's alive. Just tell him. Rip the band-aid off. He'll be cool, you'll see. He'll be cool. Yeah. Hey, it's uh it's it's been a couple years. Yeah. <laughs> so how you been? My cellmate ratted on me for having an extra pillow. I cut out his tongue with a rusty pair of pliers and fed it to the maggot. There's something that uh, I've been meaning to tell you for a while now. All right, there's like a storm inside of me, all right? And, 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 and Come God on, the metaphors. sent me a, a, an angel. 
and this woman and I, we start dancing, and we get very passionate, and then it's all very confusing, but in the end, something new is born. Oh, Ooh, I yeah, know exactly what he's trying to say. My really? son finally knocked someone up. I'm gonna be a grandfather. <laughs> uh, Why did I think there'd be some level of acceptance <laughs> and understanding? Yeah, I mean, as opposed to a misunderstanding. You know, I, I, I never really got you. I see that there's hope for you yet. I, I mean, not with your life, but with the life of your son. <laughs> Jesus. Look at this guy's face, man. For how, how long has Mac every episode had a picture next a picture of his dad next to his bed and he's like dad please accept me he's like touching the photo every time he comes here just like dad notice me please dad understand me and then we have this massive misunderstanding here Jesus Mac is getting torn up here this I think I don't we're not going in the, <laughs> we're not going in the right direction here for him Oh, we don't know that it's going to be a boy. Hey, if it's not oh, a boy, God. you flush that shit out <laughs> and try again. I'm going to be a grandfather. We will. Dad, you are going to be a grandfather. Daddy, a dad. Maybe, maybe he tries to have sex with a woman and ends up having sex with a man. Uh, what? Uh, what is? Oh, this goddamn cut. Oh. What's up with this? Is it swelling up? It's swelling up. His eyes. His face. All right, look, where's Mac, dude? Huh? Mac, you're supposed to get him. Where is he? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. yeah. Is he here? Well, come on. No big deal if he doesn't do it, right? I mean, we can find somebody else. Come on, what are you going to have? You, me, dancing on top of the gay float? Oh. No, the, the press will murder us. We need an authentically gay man. They'll huh. see right through it, man. Okay? That will change everything. Oh! Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah right? Oh, shit. Right? I mean, this thing's amazing, man. So the only thing that's missing yeah. is Mac. Yeah. Uh, this bottle's gonna uh, fall. Yeah, good, good, no problem. I got that covered. Would it be insulting if I make a Martin Scorsese joke? Who the hell are you? You're you trying to get a girl pregnant just because that's what your father wants you to do. I, I just need to come out to him my way, and I'm not ready to do that yet, all right? I don't care. You're coming with me, you're going on that float. I don't want to do it, and you can't make me. Fine. I'll get another gay, somebody way hotter than you. Allow me to introduce Patty's Hop Gay, Cricket. What? Hey. <laughs> oh my God, look at all this, these scars on this man. What the hell, Frank? Where's Mac? Mac's out. Why? Well, I think he's going back in the closet. Frank, it's 2018, and you're the only person who doesn't seem to understand gay culture. That's true, that's true. My head is swollen with blood. Dude, it's looking so bad. Come on, man. Uh, no, 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 no. Lady, I'm not going anywhere until I see an Abraham Lincoln. Five bucks to get you here, bro. What the? Oh, oh shit. I don't know. Oh, oh, shit, I can't do this. You know what? Screw this. Mac! Mac, come in. Let me in. Let me in. Is that a real bike and not an ass blaster in the background? It's a real bike. <laughs> he really is conflicted now, isn't he? <laughs> Jesus, Frank, that's a lot of blood. Is that from just now? Oh, no. No, that's from earlier. I've been in agony the whole day. But I came to this realization that sometimes you gotta let the blood flow in order to start the healing. You got this thing okay. inside you and you're trying to plug it up. But you gotta let that shit out. You gotta let it flow. Otherwise, you're gonna be in agony for the rest of your life. No, forget the float. That's just doing it for the wrong reasons. What? You gotta do something else. I got you a couple of things from the float that you can use. I paid off the warden. They think they're seeing a Blake Shelton concert. And I put your dad in the front row. Blake Shelton will not be making it today. But uh, he did send me in his stead, and I've got something special to show you. I got something that I got to tell you, Dad, and I've been trying to find the best way to do it. And I just thought instead of saying it, maybe I could just show you how I feel inside. Dad, I'm gay. Was he filming this? This is 
really good. We have all these effects and apparently his dad somehow saw this <laughs> on stage with her in this prison. This is really captivating, I'm not gonna lie. Hit me with some It's Always Sunny twist here, please. This is too good. Oh! Is she is she the angel? This is the this is what this is his thing! can just say so much without saying a word, right? <sighs> this was one of the most straightforward It's Always Sunny episodes that we've had in a very long time. Mac feeling uncomfortable um, with coming out to his father. Um, and... You know, with, uh, the, you know, you can easily just take Max statements early on um, about him dancing with uh, with God uh, or an angel or, or something. You can take that another way. Knowing it's always sunny, I, I jumped to the conclusion that Mac was trying to like have sex with God, and he and he saw God as being this really hot woman, this, that, and the other, right? But no. He had a whole nother something in mind, and what he had in mind was amazing. Um, yeah, it's easy to take that uh, visit from you know the dancer leaving his apartment uh, earlier in the episode as them having sex, him trying to uh, avoid, I don't know, his feelings, his sexuality, him being attracted to men. Um, and just trying to give his father a grandson. Yeah, that's right. Um, but no, yeah, you could easily see it in the dance. I mean, like, I don't know. What, what, what I saw was, you know, Mech expressing himself, telling his father how he felt. Um, and then, you know, the whole push and... It's like a push and pull between them. How, how Mac was feeling kind of... Uh, falling down to the ground, feeling kind of defeated, feeling rejected, feeling abandoned. Um, and, um, you know, uh, the angel uh, supporting him, comforting him, picking him back up, if you will, and then having another joyous number. Uh, really talented stuff. Um... <laughs> Matt, Matt, Max, uh, not Mac, Rob, Rob really got in shape for this. Um, beautiful, beautiful um, dancer uh, with the woman that was a part of this. Damn, the credits are gone now. Did I Why did I close it? That's where I thought I let that shit play. What the fuck? Um, credit to her. Uh, while they were sliding around, I should say, when, when they started to slide around, um, in their environment, I just, I was trying to think of like, what, what kind of flooring do we have here? You know, it didn't seem like it was hard because there were some jumps and landings that, you know, might've been a little uncomfortable, but um, the sliding was great. She, she slid when she was doing this, the, was it the front splits? Um, Max slid as well. Uh, crazy, crazy flexibility um, from the dancer there. 
Um, recently at the gym, I've started doing more mobility work uh, rather than just strength training and stuff like that. So more mobility, more flexibility. Um, and it's it takes so much uh, work and, and just, you know, to get to a point like that, like in, in you know, I, I can get close to doing the splits. Um, I, I, I dance uh, some Latin dances. Have I ever told you guys that? I don't know. I, I dance uh, salsa and bachata, stuff like that. I go to a dance studio, um, you know, uh, kind of in my spare time. And um, just, again, it, it, seeing the talent that people can put out there when they express themselves and, you, and people really let go is, is something that's pretty awesome. And at least for me, I... <clears throat> At least for me, I found like uh, a lot of joy in being able to, you know, feel the same thing, let go, express, dance, and, and even have that sense of connection whenever you're dancing um, with a partner, right? Um, you know, you have your leads, you have your follows and dance, and, and at least in salsa and bachata. Um, and I don't know, it just puts you in a whole nother realm where like, you know, you can communicate in, on a whole different kind of way rather than just saying things just like this episode here. And um, I don't know, finding that middle ground ha has always been a lot of fun and a challenge too. You know, you, no one wants a super strong lead, one someone that's gonna do everything for the follow. Um, but at the same time, you know, you don't want that timid little lead that's gonna be like, eh. You know, do you want to turn or okay, maybe this? You have to ha have that healthy balance and um, show some intention with your moves, um, and then at the same time, just kind of allow a lot of space for your follow to be able to, um, you know, express themselves. Or you know, the the follows moves are much bigger than the leads, um, so you know, the leads dance a little bit here and <laughs> leave more room the follow to look good but uh, you know that, that that's what a lot of it is about but um god the, the <sighs> great <laughs> i would have expected this but i'm glad they put this out here for a season finale simple episode something that's been lingering for 13 seasons and what does this mean for mac probably nothing It's always sunny lens on. What does this mean for the character development of Mac? You gotta think nothing. <laughs> I mean, you know, Mac is still gonna do crazy stuff. I mean, oh, maybe, uh, uh, I don't know. Looking at again, looking at this through the it's always sunny lens. This this means, um, wow. Well, I mean, they, they've done a lot with Max character, right? Um, he's expanded. He's contracted. He's expanded again. <laughs> oh, man. Um, what is it? Yeah, I, I don't know. It, it, uh, I wouldn't think that this would change a whole lot for Mac, but at the same time, I would be hopeful. Um, they can still write uh, It's Always Sunny style writing with what this could psychologically, I don't know, mean for Mac with everything that you can see in that dance number. Maybe he's more accepting uh, of the sexuality of the fact that he's gay. And then um, I need to do a Duolingo lesson before I go to sleep. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, maybe he can yeah, find a little bit more acceptance and they can still do their fucked up, it's always sunny things. Um, with Mag being a little bit more comfortable and maybe, I don't know, it, it can open up a whole, nother, a whole new, um, I don't know, realm, I guess, for the show. Uh, I, I, thought, or I thought the earlier scenes in the episode were pretty funny, too. Um, them going to the dungeon. Them going to the... What do those acronyms mean, man? Everyone's like, talk... Um... Matt... Masochism means someone is sexually turned on by pain, right? 
but what is the BDSM stuff? I know that's hardcore stuff. I do picture leather and things like that when I hear those acronyms. Something dominant, B dominant, M dominant, masochism. What does BDSM stand for? Should I ask you guys just ed educational purpose? That sounds worse. <laughs> Let's get back. <laughs> Let's get back to the question, okay? What does BDSM stand for? <laughs> Help me out there, guys. For actual educational purposes, not for science reasons, you know what I mean? But I mean, hey, if it is for science reasons, it's what I do. I mean, it's not, but like, if it is, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm done with this reaction. Leave your comments down below, links in the description for Patreon tiers. Vincent, I may have you cut all this out entirely. <laughs> Let me do one more take there. <laughs> Great episode. Leave your comments down below. Links in the description for Patreon tiers. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.